What's up, Pockets here, and today I'll be doing a RAM and SSD upgrade for my Omen 15. But we're not really going to focus on the SSD upgrade today. Uh, my Omen 15 and most other Omen only comes with 8 gigs of RAM. Uh, well, the base model usually does. Uh, my Omen 15 here is equipped with a i7 10750H and the beastly RTX 3070. But well, that measly 8 gigs of RAM in theory must be bottlenecking my setup and most setups, right? Well, that's a problem we're going to try and solve today. So I'll be upgrading the original 8 gigabyte single channel memory and add another 8 gig stick to make it 16 gig. Also, single channel is going to bottleneck our laptop, so upgrading to dual channel is definitely going to maximize our performance. So if you just want the results, just skip to the result. It should be around the end of the video. If you want to enjoy some montage of me fitting all the parts together, then stick around stick we're going to be putting in the Omen 15 uh, is the same exact RAM stick actually. I just looked up the NOP model number and the existing RAM. So this SOEQA, that's the model number. You can look it up online. It should be available anywhere. It's pretty standard RAM. Bought it for compatibility reasons. I mean, I could get a better brand, but yeah, it's compatibility reasons. I'm not just going to do that. I'm going to do an SSD upgrade too. Got a WD, WD Black. Uh, yeah, I got a WD Black SN750. Got, uh, got the 500 gig variant because the one terabyte one is like twice more expensive. So, this is gonna be alright with me. So, yeah, let's do this job. Quickly, uh, the speed it caps at 2933, even though the RAM it's rated at 3200, but it's okay. Um, it just works perfectly. Uh, there's no compatibility problems at all. Here's the SSD; it just worked per works right off the bat. I had to like create and format a new hard hard disk partition, like a new simple volume. But that's it, really. It, it all just works. It just, it boots kind of slow the first time, but. That's, that's it really, everything just goes according to plan, so yeah. Starting off here with Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, with the maximum setting in this preset, not much of a FPS difference in the higher settings, only around 2 FPS differences in the average and minimums, though the maximum FPS is a whole lot more. Ah, now, the low preset is more subjective since the preset system here isn't really a preset, it's more of a slider, so... I'll just show you the picture of the low setting, which honestly looks more like a medium setting. Anyway, here are the results we want to see. Uh, this is 20% more FPS, it's a major difference. Every other aspect such as the minimums and the maximums are also improved, especially the maximums. Next game we got is F1 2020. Uh, my bad, it's not the 2021 game, but performance wise it's basically the same. On ultra settings we get considerably more FPS, 27 to be exact. This is again another 20% difference. Ah, now on the lowest preset in F1 2020, one whole hundred FPS difference, I mean, damn, that's huge, it's like 67 more FPS. To point out, this is average FPS, so this difference ain't a joke. The minimum and the maximum is obviously also majorly improved. Now, the last game we got is CSGO, so you might understand now why I sorted this game, the games like this. So yeah, CSGO has the wildest FPS increase from a miserable 300, 363 FPS to 502, that's like 150 more, I mean, damn, you're losing so much performance if you're still running ch single channel. So in conclusion, expect 20% uh, more FPS in the AAA heavier titles, and expect around 40% more FPS in the lighter esports titles, but... I would have never expected that big of a jump in the F1 2020 benchmark. I just reckon F1 games and Codemasters games are just very reliant on dual channel memory, so watch out what games you play. They might be very reliant on dual channel memory, so huge jump. 
and for some technicalities, 8 gigs of RAM is just not enough these days. It really hinders and bottlenecks your performance. In all these bench, uh, in all these games, I've seen the memory usage all maxing out to its 8 gigs of RAM. When I upgraded to 16 gigs, I just saw immediately straight straight away all these games used more than 8 gigs. It's just bottlenecking it. Some games used nine, at least nine, and some I forgot which. It went up to 12 gigs, up to 12 gigs. So yeah. Should you upgrade your own Win 15? Or... Yeah, of course. You should. I mean, you won't regret it. So yeah. Uh, that's pretty much everything. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Peace out.